In 2026, there'll be less of this. And more of this. Hello, welcome back to Development Adelaide. Today we're diving into another Adelaide transportation project, the tram grade separation projects at South Road, Marion Road, Cross Road and Morfitt Road. Let's start off with some key facts and figures. These projects are all funded by the Australian and South Australian governments with a total investment of over $400 million. There's $200 million for the Morfitt Road overpass and $200 million for the Cross and Mary Road overpasses. The changes to the South Road overpass come from the budget for the Torrens to Darlington project. The aim of these projects is to remove three level crossings and rebuild part of the South Road tram overpass. Make no mistake though, these projects are designed more for road users than public transport users, which I'll dive into a bit later in the video. The Glenelg tram line runs on this track and will be temporarily closed from the second half of 2025 to January 2026 to fast track the construction of these projects. During this period, substitute buses will be provided to minimise disruption for commuters. However, city tram services between the Botanic Garden, Entertainment Centre and South Terrace will still remain operational. This will be facilitated with the temporary tram depot near the South Terrace uh, tram stop. Further details about the temporary depot have not been released yet, including the size of the facility and how many trams will be stored there. All right, now back to the overpasses and let's start with South Road. As one of Adelaide's busiest arterial roads, South Road has long been a bottleneck for traffic. While the tram overpass has been there since 2009, the existing spans were built for a very old design of the motorway. As the Torrens and Darlington to Darlington project has evolved into a bigger project, larger spans are now required to the west of the elevated stop. This section will now be rebuilt, but the existing tram stop will remain in its current location. The release renders show a longer bridge with an arch which with arch design features running along the rebuilt section. Next up are Marion Road and Cross Road. Similar to South Road, this busy corridor has faced significant traffic congestion due to the tram line crossing and the intersections on either side. As I used to commute along this corridor for many, many years, I know how much congestion has increased in the last 20 years. The Great Separation project here will see a similar design to the existing South Road stop, with the tram line taking over both Marion Road and Cross Road and an elevated station built above Marion Road. This will allow for uninterrupted traffic flow along both roads. There will also be intersection improvements for Marion Road at both Anzac Highway and Cross Road, with extra lanes added to turn from Marion Road into Anzac Highway and vice versa. Finally, we have Morfitt Road. Like the other intersections, the tram line crossing here has been a significant cause of delays, which is compounded due to the proximity of the tram crossing with the intersection at Anzac Highway. The Great Separation Project will see the tram line elevated above Morfitt Road, with the existing Morfittville Racecourse stop to become the, the new Morfitt Road stop. To compensate for the more eastwards location, the next stop to the west at Glengowrie will also be moved further east, allowing for better access to the tram for those people who would have otherwise had to travel further to the new Morfitt Road stop. Depot access will be modified with the depot track running from the depot alongside the elevated bridge to the relocated Glengowrie stop. A switch allows trams to turn around at this stop and change direction towards Adelaide, catering for the early morning trams that commence, that commence their journey here. All projects will have an element of additional open space for the surrounding community. Plants, lawns, basketball courts, and the like will be established under the tram tracks, which will be a welcome site after months of construction. There's also the element of upgraded tram stops, all four of them. 
This is something that I strongly support. If you want to see what this will look like in the future, look no further than the existing Ovingham station on the Gawler Line and the rail crossing and removal projects across Melbourne. These projects will ensure that traffic will flow better, peak congestion will be eased and safety increased by removing another three conflict points between pedestrians, trams and cars. However, it's clear that drivers will be the big winners from these projects. There are some great opportunities to better connect public transport routes and modes, but they haven't been considered at this point in time, unfortunately. For example, some routes travelling along, along Anzac Highway and the northern section of Marion Road, such as the H20 bus, could be rerouted by a cross road to the, new, to the new tram stop, allowing the service to connect to the tram and other bus services that currently stop at the Marion Road tram stop. You could, in this case, travel from Henley Beach Road to Marion Shopping Centre with only one easy transfer at the Marion Road tram stop. But instead, the proposal only shows bus indents. This is a lost opportunity, in my opinion, to improve connectivity between services across Adelaide. In summary, the Great Tram Separation projects at South Road, Marion Road, Cross Road and Morfitt Road are great initiatives aimed at enhancing safety, reducing congestion and improving overall efficiency of our late transport system. However, some opportunities to better connect the public transport network have been lost for now. Construction has already commenced, property has been acquired and buildings have been demolished to make way for the road upgrades. Major construction for the actual tram overpasses should commence in the middle of this year. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. If you found this video informative, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget, forget to subscribe to our channel for more updates on important infrastructure projects in Adelaide. Until next time, travel safe.